Hey party people, it's Miaro and I'm back with another preview of Dungeon Defenders 2 and this time I'm not going to focus on a level or a particular character but the build that, that we got to play on January the 16th and 17th um, had a whole bunch of new stuff in it regarding um, player progression and also the ability to play as multiple different characters within the same level. So some of this stuff is probably placeholder graphics. I don't know how much of the design is finalized. There's a few other surprises in here that I'll show you. But it's just a quick video to show you the state of the game as it existed on January the 16th and 17th. So the first major change was the ability to play as multiple different characters within the same level. And the way this is accomplished is through a hero deck. And you can see here I have three heroes in my hero deck. It looks like there's a fourth spot but it's locked. Maybe that's part of the free-to-play stuff. You can you can buy a spot to add a fourth character to your roster for a level. But basically the way that this works is you create any number of characters and they show up along the bottom there and then you pick the three that you want to go into the level with. So I've started off here with the apprentice, the squire, and the monk and then I can create a new huntress and then I'll swap the huntress out with the monk and basically what that means is whenever I start the level those are the three characters that I have available to me. Once you get into the level, the Defender Sword is back, and this is just placeholder graphics, I know that for sure. But basically, when you click on the Defender Sword, you see the characters that you picked in your deck. And this is from a different playthrough where I had left the monk in as my third character. But you just pick the, pick the guy that you want, and you swap out. And again, this is only available just like in Dungeon Defenders 1 um, during the build phase of the level. So this is just a real quick show of the animation. They added leveling up uh, to this build. You can level up to level 10. And you can't pick your um, you can't pick your attributes or anything like that when you do level up, but you get a nice little animation comes out from the top and shows you if you have a new ability that's available to you. One other little quick bit of video here: instead of the lightning effect that were on defenses that were um, damaged in Dungeon Defenders One, now it has this little crackly breaking texture that shows up on them. Uh, to me, like as I was playing, I really noticed it. So I think it to me it jumps out quite a bit more than the lightning stuff that was around towers in Dungeon Defenders 1 but repairing it takes that little texture away and things go back to normal. Another thing to notice is that defense units are back now. Um, they work just like they do in, D in Dungeon Defenders 1. I didn't track, I didn't write down all the different values for the defense units for like how much everything costs but we did run out. We weren't, you know, it was, it was kind of tight both on the mana side and on the defense unit side. And then one last change, and this is a pretty big one, is you see up there in the corner I have two keys. This is during the build phase, and each build phase it looked like we were all given two keys, and you use the keys to open the treasure chests to get mana. So you can't just open all of the treasure chests yourself and get all of the mana. And then the chests themselves are even instanced. So if there's five or six chests on this map, when the build phase starts, everybody sees the same five chests and they're all closed, but everybody could open feasibly, they, they could open the same chest because their instance, everybody has a copy of each of the chests. And so it's kind of a weird disconnect. I'm not sure if the chests are instanced, why we have to have keys. Uh, it, it makes building kind of a challenge because you only get to open two. So a lot of times in Dungeon Defenders 1, there'd be like one guy that was building most of the defenses on the map. And you can't really do that now because that one guy can't open all of the chests. Instead, Everybody would have to open their version, their two chests, and then go to that guy and dump out all their mana. So I suspect that this is still somewhat in flux. This is kind of mid-design, maybe. I don't know. The, the forums are maybe not quite happy with this change. I'm not totally sure um, what Trendy has in mind here. I'm sure they have a plan. But it was it's a big change, and I, you know who knows where they're going to go with it. But the current state is instance chests, and you can only open two of them. So well, there you go, those are the big things that I noticed from the January 16th uh, playthrough of Dungeon Defenders 2 for the Defense Council. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, I'll be doing a ton more videos about Dungeon Defenders 2. So again, subscribe, share this thing out with everybody that was into Dungeon Defenders 1 or has an interest in Dungeon Defenders 2. And until next time, I'm Miaro, thanks for watching.